ever wondered why water quality testing is crucial? Or perhaps you thought it was just another fancy term scientists use to sound smart? Well, hold on to your hats, folks, because it's as vital as checking the expiration date on your carton of milk. Yes, you heard it right. Just like you wouldn't want to chug down sour milk, you wouldn't want to consume water that's unfit, would you? Water quality testing is our way of sniffing out the spoiled milk in our water. After all, we wouldn't want our water to be the equivalent of sour milk, would we? First up, we have the pH test. No, it's not a pop quiz or a fancy hairstyle. It's a way to measure how acidic or basic your water is. Now let's dive in, shall we? Picture this, you're at a party and you have to choose between a glass of lemon juice or a spoonful of baking soda to eat. Sounds unpleasant, right? Well, that's acidity and basicity for you. Lemon juice is acidic, much like the sour face you'd make after a gulp. On the other hand, baking soda is basic, and the soapy taste is enough to make you wish you'd skip the party altogether. Just like our taste buds, water has a preference too. It likes to stay neutral, not too sour or soapy, just right. So if your water is more acidic than a lemon or more basic than baking soda, you might want to reconsider that next glass of water. Next, we have the turbidity test. And no, it's not the latest dance move sweeping the nation. The turbidity test is a fancy term for how clear or murky your water is. Imagine trying to peer through a window. If it's clean, you can see clearly, right? Now, imagine if that window was covered in a layer of dust and grime. Not so clear anymore, huh? That's what the turbidity test is all about. It's like giving your water a pair of eyeglasses, checking if it can see the blackboard from the back of the classroom or if it needs to move up front. High levels of turbidity could mean there are particles, microbes, or pollutants clouding your water much like that dirty window. The turbidity test is an important step in water quality testing. It's the difference between having a glass of water that's crystal clear versus one that's as cloudy as a foggy day in London. So if your water looks murkier than a muddy puddle after a rainstorm, it's time to do a little water quality testing. Finally, we have the Total Dissolved Solids, TDS, Chemical Oxygen Demand, CADI, and Biological Oxygen Demand, BOD, tests. And no, these aren't secret codes for spies. Let's start with the TDS test. It sounds like a fancy term, but in reality, it's just a measure of all the invisible stuff floating in your water. Think of it as the amount of invisible confetti tossed into your tap water. Too much confetti and you might as well be drinking a party instead of a glass of water. Next up, we have the cod test. No, it's not about ordering fish at your favorite restaurant. It's about how much oxygen your water needs to break down the chemicals in it. If the cod level is high, your water is gasping for air, like someone who just ran up 10 flights of stairs. So if your water is huffing and puffing, it's time to check your chemical levels. Last but not least is the BOD test. This one is all about the biological stuff in your water and how much oxygen they need to decompose. It's like your water is holding a tiny aerobic class for bacteria and they all need oxygen to burn off that extra energy. If the BOD level is high, it means your water is hosting a high intensity workout session for microorganisms and that's not a party you want to be drinking from. In essence, these tests are like water's report card. They tell you how clean your water is or if it's been partying too hard with chemicals and microorganisms. Remember, clear water doesn't always mean clean water. It's what's on the inside that counts. So, if your water needs more oxygen than a marathon runner or has more invisible stuff than a magician's hat, you've got some water quality issues. All right, we've had our laughs, but let's get serious for a moment. Water quality testing is no joke. It's a crucial process that helps ensure our water remains clean and safe. From the pH test to the turbidity, total dissolved solids, chemical oxygen demand, and biological oxygen demand tests, each one plays a significant role in assessing the health of our water sources. So while water quality testing might make for some good laughs, remember, it's also key to keeping our water clean, safe, and joke-free.